Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you these are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? I am just sipping my coffee and going to reply to some comments But it's about 6 o'clock, Maeve has a um, school excursion if you want to call it that today they're actually going to dream world so she's pretty lucky uh, and I think today will be her last day at school because I can't imagine she's going to be exhausted after today it's a whole day trip they leave around seven and they won't be back till about six so um, she's going to be wrecked but uh, and tomorrow they don't really do much so she can stay home tomorrow I think the middles will probably go to school because their last day with their teachers and they'll want to i don't know how ozzy's going to feel today though because i picked him up yesterday i forgot to mention that <laughs> but um he got a message from his teacher about 2 30 just saying he, he just wasn't quite right and would i come and get him she said he'd just been a bit off all day so um yeah he came home and he was asleep fairly early but um We'll see how he is when he wakes up, but I do have to get ready to drop Maeve off probably in about 30 minutes. So I thought I'd just sit here, enjoy my coffee, and see how I go. Um, in terms of how I'm feeling, I don't have a sore throat so far. Um, so that's good because I, I did think the sore throat was from having the fan on too high or the air conditioning on. So that's good. That was my thought. Um, and I'm a bit sniffly. But uh, the weather is kind of rainy, overcast. It's warm. Anyway, Jonah's in my bed. Comet is in my bed. <laughs> I'm going to sip my coffee and just um, read the comments. I'm not sure I'm going to get to reply today um, or yet. Just because I like to do it in batches rather than one at a time. So I'm just going to read those and maybe... Just watch some YouTube. Why not? Do it just what you're doing. Okay, it's 10 past 7. I've done one school drop off and I'm clearly feeling okay. Wasn't sure how I felt, but I'm just mid making my bed. The kids are all awake, obviously, because I had to drop Maeve to school. And um, I'm going to whip up some lunches. I have to wrap a present. Austin has a secret Santa today and he's giving this because it's quite literally all I have. Plus the little boy who it is, I know that his parents are okay with him having Nerf guns because he has a massive collection. Austin is a bit worried that he'll potentially have that one, but um, can you have too many Nerf guns? I don't know, I don't know. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> going to wrap that. I feel like something to eat. I didn't eat a lot of dinner last night, so I'm gonna make some omelet or something. I'm sure Rosie will have some of that. And we need to leave in about uh, maybe an hour. So let's do that. I once felt I'm done with the defense. Throw back and climb over your fence. Hide to show show you that I was a mess So you were shrugging your shoulders I'm closed off, that's what I told you Soon enough 
enough Everything started to change Cause there's no going back No going back There's no going back to your own life Not living in the past We're over that I'm feeling it tonight Riding on the dizzying high Sunsets, remember the colors They were wrong, it was way more than a dream We climbed up, yeah, over the hillside It's alright, we stood there all wide-eyed You and I, floating on air in my mind Cause there's no going back, no going back There's no going back to your own life Not living in the past, we're over that I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying heights kitchen in a complete disaster but it turns out I have to stop at the shops on my way to school to get class party ingredients because that's all the popcorn I had left and the most annoying thing is that I was at the shop where I buy the popcorn yesterday and I went nah I don't need any every time, every time. anyways gotta go bye Okay, so I am back from cutting up watermelons at the primary school because we always do that on the last day of school. All of the kids get some watermelon and that's tomorrow. We didn't have time. Well, we won't have time to do it tomorrow. So we did it today. And I'm just going to put the bins out and then head off to Costco. Because I'm crazy. Let's do this. Okay, so I've just gotten to Costco. It takes just uh, maybe an hour to get here. Um, and I'm going to head on in. I don't know what it is about it, but it doesn't matter. I guess it takes an hour, so I need to go to the toilet is my point. I always need to go to the toilet whenever I get here, which means having to go in and then go out. And... So annoying. <laughs> anyway, I stopped at Carl's Jr. because we had it like once before. I didn't love it this time. I just... Excuse me. Yeah, should have waited for the Costco food. Oh well. Okay, all done. Sorry if the aircon is up real high. I've got a bootful. It is definitely the biggest shop I've ever done. I just have to figure out how to tell my husband because I might have used the credit card a lot. Well. buyer's remorse is real but I didn't buy anything I didn't need although to be fair I probably didn't need or oh, you'll see there's probably a lot I didn't need it was a bad idea anyway sorry lighting okay I'll show you when I get home bye <laughs> Okay, welcome to the Costco haul. So I'm going to take you through each and every item that I've purchased and the price that I paid for them. Um, and then stay to the end for the total. And I will just say, as I said, it is the biggest haul I've ever done. But uh, yeah, 
Anyway, I hope you find this interesting. Okay, let's get started. So this is almost a half a kilo or over half a kilo of book corners and they were $9.99. Yep. This 1.8 bag of waffle fries was $9.89. I hadn't ever seen these before, so I don't know if anyone will like them, but um, yeah, I thought they will be a good novel item. One litre of garlic aioli was $6.99. A kilo of organic cocoa powder was $13.99. Three kilos of raw sugar was $2.89. So very Australian of me, but almost a kilo of Vegemite was eleven seventy nine. I got this compostable cutlery for Christmas, and it was twelve dollars forty nine. And there's obviously one hundred and sixty pieces in there, so it'll do quite a few Christmases. But I feel better about them being compostable. I didn't want plastic, and I want to avoid doing dishes. Actually, this was actually only nine at uh, ten dollars. It was two dollars fifty off. So bargain. So four 500 gram, oh, 500 grams of champagne ham and that was $6.79. For the four, I could probably get it cheaper at Aldi if I'm honest, but it is what it is. And what I'll do is I'll put one of these in the fridge for lunches and things like that and the other three in the freezer. They defrost really well. So one and a half kilos of the chicken breast schnitzel, which is always a winner in this house. It was $3.60 off, so about $14. The, to the original price was $17.59, take off $3.60, so $14 or $13.99. Yay, I can do maths. We always get these tortillas. It's three packets of 12 and they are $8.39. This 1.25 kilogram of Cocoa Pops was $9.99. So what I'm doing with the Cocoa Pops and the Nutrigrain, which I'll show you shortly, is putting them into these Tupperware containers and I will top them up once a week. I'll hide them out in, I've got a secret storage container somewhere. Um, so I will put the rest away and I'll, like I said, top it up once a week. This 1.4 kilogram of wheat bix was $4.59, which is comparable to what you can get in the shops. 400 tea bags of the Lipton black quality tea was $11.69. Okay, so the 48 rolls of Kleenex toilet paper were on special at $19.49. These noodles were $11 for a packet of 30. The double roll Viva was about $12.99 because it was also on special. So that's um, paper towels and there are eight in there. The Nutrigrain 1.2 kilograms was $6.29 for that big box. And like I said, I'm gonna put it in this Tupperware container and only top it up once a week. So 30 farm fresh eggs come in at $13.99. This was probably my biggest splurge or one of my two biggest splurge and that was the courage chicken and that came in at where is it $23.89 however if I was to like order even a little bit of that from a Chinese takeaway or whatever it would be about $15 for a dish so so I justified it. These stir fry vegetables are amazing. They're great for beefing up any kind of side dish or in a stir fry, obviously. And they came in at $16.69, and this will last us a very long time. It's got great, it's got mushrooms and capsicum and carrot and everything. Really, really love this. Oh, and that is, whoop, if you can focus, two and a half kilos. So 630 grams of twisties were. $5.98. They're another hideaway. Two kilos of Nutalex is only $5.98, which is an absolute steal. And I prefer this to the margarine, but um, it, it's too big for the inside fridge. So what I tend to do is just like portion it out and top it up each week. 
So I bought these tablets the last time that I went to Costco, the dishwashing tablets, and they work out really well. So they're $19.99 for 115 in one. I picked up this Mildira group, Mild Mildra group, plain flour and self-raising flour, five kilos at only $4.39. So they're about a dollar a kilo in the shop. So it's a good saving, ish. <laughs> Can't go past the rotisserie chickens. They're $6.99. They're usually about $9.99 at the shops. We always get the Caesar salad. We break up the chicken and we put it in with the Caesar salad. So that was $14 and that's dinner tonight. We got this 12 pack of croissants for Christmas day and they were $9.99. Ozzy absolutely loves these butter rolls and they or dinner rolls and they're seven dollars ninety nine for thirty six. Corn is super expensive at the minute, so I got it for five dollars and ninety nine for a packet of six. I think my husband said they were about three dollars per year at the shops the other day, so I thought that was a bargain. These brioche buns, which will also go just straight in the freezer, they were nine dollars ninety nine for twelve. So I got this 66 packets of Smith's variety packets and that was $14.49. These coffee beans which I'll ground up in the Thermomix came to $15.89. These water bottles which I will get the kids names on, I will cricket their names onto them and they were $27.98 and they usually sell for like $19 each at Coles or Woolies. We love these granola bars. Everyone will eat these, except Austin, <laughs> and they come in 64 bars at $16.49. They're a fair treat. This Red Rock Deli Honey Soy Chicken is $8.89 for over 600 or 640 grams. So that's another hide out the back. This packet of pretzels came in at $11.48 but take $2.50 off, so they were just under $10. And what's Christmas without pretzels? This packet of 96 Rennie, which is like um, indigestion and heartburn and things. I've been eating them something stupid lately and they were $6.99. And this was my biggest splurge for myself, which was six tea towels <laughs> for, what did they come to? Uh, $23.99, which is a lot of money <laughs> for tea towels. But they just seemed such good quality and I actually put them back and then came back for them. I figure I could wrap them for my Christmas present, right? <laughs> and the total came to $445.58, which is so much money. But I'm telling myself I only go once every three or four months, so that's okay, right? It's not like I really splurged. Didn't need those tea towels. I could have picked some up from Kmart for maybe two bucks each. I know, I know. Tell me it's okay. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm going to go and edit it now and hopefully I get thousands and thousands of views and it'll pay for the bill. <laughs> All right, I'll catch you tomorrow. Thanks guys. Come on in, come on up, come on over for the merriest time of year. Come on up, come on in, get together for a good time. Smile, my dear.